Beach volleyball players Jake Gibb and Casey Patterson aren't losing sleep over the Rio Olympics. Instead, they're tracking it with tech. We're using it to, to get the best performance we can at, in Rio. With a wearable called Whoop, the Olympians enter activities and training for the day and then see what it takes to recover. It gives me the opportunity to know my maximum amount of sleep needed to perform at my peak the next day. It kind of breaks down your sleep and how much light sleep you're getting, how much uh, deep sleep you're getting, how much REM. You know, you can see if, if you're recovering at night. Members of the US Olympic swim team, including Ryan Lochte and Michael Phelps, used Whoop leading up to the Games. Phelps' longtime trainer tracks sleep latency, which is how fast you fall asleep. And then after that, then we started to put in some of the uh, training correlations. So um, volume, intensity, um, their subjective rate of perceived exertion. And, and we, we achieved a great deal of success before a lot of these devices came out. Um, I would say like the way that it's changed, it just gives us a little bit deeper look into um, the athlete and the athlete's body and how they respond to it. The US Olympic women's volleyball team hopes to get the jump on the competition with a device called VERT, which tracks the number and height of jumps. For the US track cycling team, the focus has been on smart eyewear called Solos, which look like Google Glass. A small heads-up display puts training metrics in real time in the rider's field of view. They also get audio coaching cues. All of the sensors that are currently being used to track these metrics, like speed, power and cadence, are being sent to the smartphone that aggregates all of this information and then sends it to the eyewear in a way that is customizable by the user. Soon, they hope they'll be wearing gold medals. In San Francisco, Lexi Civides, CNET.com for CBS News.